Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Now this is gonna be a super quick video, but this is gonna be what's different about the Instax Mini 11 compared to the Instax Mini 40. Now this is not the Evo, this is not the one that's like dual, like uh, digital and also a regular instant camera. These are the same camera. If you had any questions, if you're like, oh, I can't find what's good and what's different about it, it's literally the same character, <laughs> not character, same camera, but just in a different body. Now, one feels a little bit bigger than the other, and that's this one, because this is the original body. And what they did is they just switched all the internals into this body. This is a more beautiful looking camera. It is boxier and it does feel like it's a little bit more to hold because this one kind of swoops, it fits the hand perfectly, it was made for this. It may look a little bit kind of like curvy for me, so the look of this is not my favorite, but for this, it just, it feels smaller. Literally feels smaller, has that better grip on it, so for me, that works a little bit more, but if you're all about looks, if you just want something that looks like a traditional kind of maybe film camera or even cameras, digital cameras right now, or emulating this look, the black with the silver accents, this is what you get here. But everything is literally the same. The one thing, the one thing now that I'm thinking about that's a little bit different is you can get these like little buttons on here that kind of fit inside and one glows in the dark, one's colorful, and you get one with every camera purchased. This one, you cannot do that because it just has that kind of um, concave button here, but literally the same. You push the button here, lens goes out to take selfies, you pull it out even more. It's the exact same with this one too. The two-step process of either regular camera, regular instant camera, or selfie mode, same thing. Battery doors on this side, you can see it here, you can see that here nothing. Um, little lanyard pieces on here, also on this side. So same thing. Do the pictures look exact, exactly the same? Yes, they do. Is there anything different about this? No. No, not at all. So just put that to rest. These are literally the same camera. This one's going to cost more. This one's going to cost less, but it's all about the look. If you're like, okay, Again, which one takes better pictures? Exactly the same thing. It's not really gonna be any much of a difference. But for me, when I'm out and about, just taking like random photos, I'm taking this one. When I'm at maybe like a little bit more formal place or maybe I wanna show off in some cases, this is what I'll have because it just looks better. Don't you think? This one, yeah. And that's it, literally that's it. It's the price, it's the aesthetic, and really that's, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you what you're really looking for. But for me, I like this one. It costs a little bit more, but I do like this one. Just over, over like the kind of curvy look that this one has. But guys, if you have any comments or questions about anything related to maybe these two cameras or any other instant camera, put it in the comment section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.